What is Copilot and how does it work on the Surface Laptop 7th edition? You can press it at any time and it will immediately bring up this chat prompt here to allow you to interact with Copilot. Once you're in, it's a very clean, simple interface. It reminds me a lot of ChatGPT, and from my understanding, it is using the OpenAI infrastructure. So you've got the option to start a new chat prompt up here. All your chats will start populating down here once you start. And then we've got the option to chat with Copilot right here, the option to add an image, and also to use the microphone to talk to Copilot as well. So if we start that and press allow, it's now listening to me. So Hey, uh, what I would like to do is I'd love to write out a content strategy for a YouTube channel called danstube.tv. Uh, this YouTube channel is dedicated to all things tech with a huge focus on drones. Uh, can you help me with a few different content ideas and content strategies for this channel? Cool, so it's that simple, as you can see, super Absolutely. responsive. Let's dive into some exciting content ideas and strategies for DanTube TV, your tech-focused YouTube <laughs> channel with a drone twist. Here are some creative approaches to engage your audience. Introduce yourself. Start by... So you can see, it will even read it back out to me. It's created the chat prompt up in the top corner here, and it's done a really good job of basically setting up a bit of a content plan for us here. We can also see over here there's a plugins option and there's a few different plugins that you can turn on and off. I've left them all off for now. And then the other thing that's really cool is you can get it to generate images as well. So I could say create an image of a drone flying over a city. Right, and then from here it's going to generate that in a few seconds. The other thing that's really cool that I'll show you in a second is that there's a few different ways of actually interacting with it. So a few different chat prompts, I guess you'd call them, or um, conversation styles, I think they refer to them as. So there's a few different ways of even interacting with it. So this is as it's populating, it gives you a nice little interactive image here, and boom, we have four images ready to go instantly. Uh, nice and high quality, as you would expect, powered by DALI, three and then from here if I want to I can change each section as I see fit, blur, blur the background, um, pop certain colors, a um, bunch of other different styles and designs in here so extremely powerful and it's all integrated into Copilot so again pretty impressive stuff it's definitely more advanced than I thought it was going to be straight off the bat very responsive I love how immediately when you press the button it will um, load up Copilot. So this one actually looks really clean. It's using a phantom design, which is a little outdated, uh, but still pretty cool stuff here. So now the other option I have is I can start a new chat here and at the top, there you go, so conversation style. So we've either got creative, so start an original and imaginative chat, balanced for everyday informed chats and precise. Start a precise chat, useful for fact finding. So again, a few different options here and quite a powerful tool to really have with you because you can use it for all sorts of things and it operates very similar to ChatGPT in that context. So let's just do another one. I would like to figure out a way to use my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Can you search the web for different ways to use this little handheld camera. I'd love to learn about the best accessories on the market and also unique ways to use the camera, like ways to actually get unique perspectives while using the camera system. All right, because I'm using the Osmo Pocket 3 right now. So let's see if it connects up to the web. Absolutely. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is a fantastic little camera with plenty of creative potential. Let's dive into some ways you can make the most of it. Accessories for enhanced filmmaking. Wow. Desk stand, a stable base for your Osmo Pocket 3 How cool is that? recording or time lapse. Extension frames. There you go. So it actually connected up, pulled us in a video from YouTube, and it's got a few different links down here. And they are all. <laughs> that's actually my link tree. That's funny. Um, and a few different Amazon links, YouTube links. That's my YouTube link, is it? Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, 
Yep, so it's linked to my YouTube yeah. video as well. That's awesome. So yeah, pretty powerful stuff. It also does interact with certain applications as well. So I believe they put it into their like office suite. So with Microsoft Word and Excel and all that stuff. Oh, that looks way too stretched now. <laughs> oh no, there we go, that looks cool. Um, yeah, so it's got great integration, um, but for this example here, this is just showing you as an AI assistant, right? Like this is something, and we can still type to it as well, so maybe we would go, um, can you show me danstube.tv on YouTube? I would like to see what his top 10 videos are based on views and engagement, right? So let's see how it goes, dragging that from the web and see if it does a good job here. Okay, so it's bringing up a few. Those definitely aren't my most engaged ones. Okay, so the third one there, the hoverboard one, that one is actually like my most viewed video. So it did a decent job. It brought in a few videos. It brought in even more links actually, which is interesting from a few different places. So we've got YouTube's the majority uh, but we've got My Dear Drone, we've got my link tree in there. We've got a few like article places where I've had things published. So pretty cool overall. And we've got the YouTube integration here. You can see we've done this in a very brief amount of time just to test it out. But it does an awesome job. It's very unique. So create a few images for me. I would like to see what the future holds. Can you show me some examples of how you think the future is going to look in, uh, yeah, in the next 20 years, I guess. <laughs> Very uh, hesitant, Absolutely. aren't I? Let's peer into the crystal ball and envision the future. Here are a few glimpses of what the next 20 years Wow, will renewable hold. energy, Sustainable health cities. tech, Imagine bustling metropolises with vertical gardens, solar powered... Okay, so, oh no, there are some images coming. Here we go. So let's see. So, so they even gave us like a breakdown of what the future could look like. And then we've got some images here that will hopefully give us a little bit more insight. Wow, so they've really focused in on the drones in this one. So clearly overpopulation is what they're going for here. But pretty cool, like when you look at this, there's some cool stuff going on here. And I'm impressed with the integration of Copilot. It's gonna be very useful for me when I'm posting content online. Uh, when I need to come up with some ideas, when I'm replying to emails, whatever, to have it with just the tap of a button and I can use it at any point is really, really cool. And you can see how customizable this is. I can click on any part of the image and customize it as I see fit. So this looks pretty cool. They've done an awesome job here. So that's Copilot. That's how it interacts. That's how it feels. Starting a new chat, that's how it's always going to look. You can dump images in to then obviously tweak those and work with those as you see fit. Got a few different conversation styles, a few different plugins. It connects to the web, you can talk to it. It's quite a powerful AI assistant and it's nice that it's just got that one button on the keyboard itself so you can jump into it at any point. So this is quite impressive and I think a lot of people will be quite impressed by how Copilot interacts and works on the Surface Laptop 7.